guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog how are we all how is everybody let me know in the comments below i hope you're all doing really really well i wanted to um pop out to b&m today at some point today do a bit of um stock up on some essentials some cleaning bits and i thought i would pick up the camera and take you guys with me so if you've got any new in like homeware bits I feel like it's been a while since I've been there. So that is on today's agenda. I also have had a delivery this morning for some new White Fox bits, which by the way, this um, top is from White Fox. For those of you that have asked where I get my like quarter zips from, this one is lovely, one of my absolute favorites. It's like a real nice mushroom, dark color. But anyway, I have some new bits that I wanted to share with you. So I thought I would do that first. I am very kindly working with White Fox on today's video, so thank you to them. Thanks to them for also giving me a discount code for you guys to use, which I will leave on screen and linked in the description box below. And that discount code will get you 15% off site-wide, but that excludes collaborations and sale items. I will just for ease leave everything that I show you linked in the description box below if you do want to shop anything yourself. I even have um, a couple of the White Fox swim items or like a set from White Fox swim and they also do active wear. One of my favourite uh, zip up tops is from White Fox active. Another thing to note as well they have uh, after pay for all US, Australia and New Zealand customers. For any other UK customers out there as well they do have express worldwide shipping. So without further ado I will show you the items that I've got picked that I've got picked up. <laughs> I picked up and that have been sent to me. I have quite a few things though, so if you want to pause this video, go grab a cuppa, get comfy first and foremost, then by all means please do so. But yeah, let's jump into a little bit of a White Fox haul. So first things first, I have this dress. Now, I wanted to, I have a lot of White Fox kind of loungewear, like co-ord sets, hoodies, joggers, things like that. So this time I wanted to pick some different kind of items and like, try some new bits so i picked up this dress it's a kind of like a long maxi dress this is called the tammy maxi dress in beige i got it in a medium i will try everything on so you can see on these little cut out cutaway clips of what everything looks like on me but just for reference i am size uk sort of 10 ish i mean what else sizes these days but i tend to go for a uk 10 or a medium i'm five foot five and I think that's all you need to know. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this is the first dress. I love the high neck and it's a really nice soft knit. It's still quite warm, so I feel like really nice for the spring weather, especially here in the UK where it can be a bit cooler some days. Really, really like it so much so that I also picked it up in the black. Did I get the same size in the black? Yes, again, Tammy maxi dress in a medium in black. I thought this would just be a good classic, especially in the black for all year round for any kind of occasion where you need like a black simple dress high necks are quite you know modest and covered and i just thought it would be a good classic staple thing to have i also think this would look lovely on a summer's holiday you know if you go somewhere it's a bit cooler in the evening so you want that nice cozy knit but quite a dramatic dressier kind of look simple but yeah, love that. So I have a Hendu coming up and one of the nights we're thinking sequins party kind of vibe for like the theme, potentially. I'm not sure if this is set in stone yet, but that's what we're thinking. And when I saw this, I thought this could be a good shout because it will be hot where we're going because we are going abroad for the Hendu. And um, yeah, I thought this would be a lovely addition to like a summer wardrobe for holidays, especially for in an evening with that Galicia kind of fabric. So it's got little sequins on it, if you can see there. And they do have this in other colors as well. This one's called the Star Shining Sequin Knit Maxi Skirt. This one's in the champagne color. It's just a simple maxi skirt, but it is quite sheer. So I feel like you could put your Bridget Jones pants on with this like and kind of be part of the outfit if you know what I mean but then they also have the matching top to go with it and I love the fact that this knit top is like super thin spaghetti straps but they are adjustable still this is called the love galore sequin knit top in champagne I got the top in a medium the skirt in a small 
and as a little co-ord i just thought that could be could be an option for that hemdo as always with my like quarter zips hoodies and stuff that i love from white fox i decided to pick up another a good old staple this one is in gray and this one is a full zip so really nice to be able to have undone with like a yoga outfit on underneath and this just as like a layer of warmth for running errands doing all of that kind of stuff i just love white fox for that kind of thing really nice quality as well super soft again thick as well i've got this one in a large to extra large for a nice oversized fit and this is called the just the beginning zip front sweater in gray marl next up i got this blazer this one is called the way to go oversized blazer it says it's in the shade mocha which is definitely it's got a bit of brown undertone to it, it actually looks more brown on camera than it is in real life I would say it's more of an olive color. It's got definitely a hint of green in there. Yeah, I just thought this would be a really nice option to wear as an oversized blazer with everything. Because let's face it, I wear my blazers all the time. This is short for me. I don't usually go for dresses this short, but I thought again for summer it would be lovely for holiday. It's called the Hadji Fold Mini Dress in a medium in white. The sleeve, I i think is my favorite thing it's kind of like a it's thicker than a vest strap it's almost like a small capped sleeve and it's got a bit of detailing around the bust area you've got the tie here which you can do in a little bow the button down front the tiered skirt it's honestly so pretty and it's got this tie waist as well which you can just tie up at the back if you want to cinch in that waist a little bit it is double lined as well so it's definitely not sheer but like i said it is short i will say that but yeah really pretty summer's dress that one feels nice and lightweight and floaty as well so good for the warm weather next up i've got some denim white fox denim is nice actually because it feels quite it feels a bit thinner so good for like the spring summer season when you don't want thick stiff denim that just feels way too hot to wear so this one is in a medium it's actually a skirt so i love the look of denim skirts midi skirts maxi skirts i definitely feel like i need to play around with it more and i thought i would do that with this so yeah i love the um color denim on this one it's kind of like a true blue denim where it's just like a simple wash it's not too dark, not too light. This is called the Take My Picture Denim Maxi Skirt in a Medium in the Blue Wash. I think they have got other colours um, and different skirts as well. And also, just to go with it, I thought a simple white top like this would be perfect. Or even like a boxy white tee, I think would look really nice with that. With this haul, I picked up on some basics. So this is called the Blur The Lines Top in a small. It's in that same fabric as the dresses that I showed you at the start. It's like a ribbed crinkled almost super stretchy and comfortable and soft knit another denim number from white fox and this time some wide leg jeans these are just like a staple for like just jeans and a simple top outfit even with the blazer thrown over the top could be really nice it's got the branding on the back but otherwise just a very simple pair of wide leg jeans i almost feel like the less fuss the better when it comes to jeans it's less trend led if it's not super ripped up and you know distressed or whatever it's just nice and simple and a good capsule item for in your wardrobe so yeah that is the next um item i got them in a medium did i say that it's called the one call away high rise straight leg jeans vintage mid blue and high rise for me is the only way i cannot do with the low rise even mid rise i am a ultra high rise okay that's just the way it is for me again something a little bit different that i spotted and thought i would pick up is this shirt it's actually a short sleeve shirt in this kind of linen fabric it's called the you're my holiday shirt in oatmeal and i picked it up in a medium to large so i can wear it um oversized open again with just like a little white dress underneath paired with like some linen matching like shorts would be really nice denim shorts would be lovely in fact denim shorts in summer hype summer denim shorts a white little basic vest and then this thrown over the top open i think would look 
lovely i feel like i'm gonna save the bikini till last i did also stock up on some more basics like i said so firstly this t-shirt this is in a medium this is the two blessed tea i already have some of these and they're just so soft and they're kind of like a stretchy type fabric like a really forgiving super soft um yeah simple tea basically is what this is then i also picked up some vests which i got this knit low scoop one which is called the love you need knit in the color butter that is exactly what this is can you see it's kind of more of a buttery color rather than a white or a cream definitely got that like hint of yellow in it so i got this one in a small because again their tops their sort of knit tops are quite stretchy and forgiving so i got this one in a small i also feel like these look better when they're a bit more fitted so that's why i went for a small love the low scoop and then i also picked up on a couple of other basic tops this one is the all clear ribbed top in a medium in the gray mall and this one has this one's a bit more cropped as you can tell God, that just throws me back to the 90s little vests like that <laughs> kind of like a square neckline just super simple basic top i like to wear those even just with my leggings type outfits nice chunky cardigan over the top i also got this one as well this one's more of a v-neck in black and this one this one's a bit stiffer and thicker uh whereas this one's a bit slinkier the my turn tank in a medium and then i also got is it is this the same one yeah, the my turn tank in a medium but this one is in white so exactly the same as the black one that same kind of lighter slinkier it's like double lined with a super soft inner liner and then a ribbed outer and then i also got these don't you worry pants in a medium in black because i know these sort of wide leg yoga style pants are so popular at the moment and i have a couple of pairs myself already and i do wear them more so for doing yoga just around the house at home just because they're so comfy i feel like they're comfier than a full legging because you've got that loose sort of bottom <laughs> kind of loose bottom this one it has like a really wide waist panel so you can fold it over as well if you prefer to have the lower rise thicker band around your hips good little classic basic so. Boy, you come here. I think there's gardeners in the garden. Uh, you're being a good guard dog. It's all right, puppy. Oh, I'll go see what they're, what they're doing. I think it's just the builders in the garden because we are starting our garden project now, which is so exciting. But anyway, lastly, a good staple classic pair of white fox socks are an absolute must every time you put in your order. Just a must. I'll just say that. This swimwear. Oh, I've got a bikini. Wait, this reminds me of. <laughs> when i saw this i was like i'm taken to meredith blake in the parent trap that's where i'm taken i if only i can look that glamorous but that's what it reminds me of this this kind of bikini style so this one is in black and cream the top is like a balconette bra style oh, just so beautiful so simple so elegant absolutely gorgeous it's subtly padded but not too much and this is um this is called the vocluse bikini the top i got in a medium and then this is definitely a bikini for my holiday with tom rather than like a family holiday because the bottoms are skimpy but the ideal tanning bikini especially with the top being like a balcony like that because you can just whip off the straps and have no tan lines no um straps on I can't speak no tan lines up here but yeah the bottoms i picked up in do i get these in a medium as well yes a medium the double bay bottoms these ones are called in again black and white it's more of a cream though i would say than white they kind of sit really high waisted as well or like high rise rather than high waisted i should say that is everything that i have picked up from white fox again if you want to shop anything yourself i will leave all the links in the description box below thanks to them for working with me on this part of today's video don't forget to use the discount code as well now without further ado let's head on out let's get on the road see if the gardeners need any help otherwise let's get on the road and head over to b&m okay let's head on in this is the kingsway store which i think is going to be closing for housing development so i need a good b&m local 
uh, to like sort of South Manchester. Any recommendations? Let me know. How beautiful is that scalloped tray, by the way? They had some new vases in. This new three piece of stackable canisters I thought was really nice for a bathroom, as were these toilet brushes, the marble and stone. They've got some stone vases as well, some in the sale. I loved this bowl set from the uh, pet section but anyway moving on they have quite a lot in the flourish range i guess with spring here and like lots of flowery floral bits for spring and summer so i thought i would show you those i love these glass canisters i always think b&m is a great go-to also this on h&m is 49.99 that scalloped linen light shade so great little dupe there they, speaking of dupes, they had these cl crocs, I was going to say clogs then, crocs, which were kind of, well, a budget alternative at £6, let's just say. Anyway, lots of outdoor bits that I was having a look at from the coastal range, this new Tuscan range, which is beautiful. They've got like lots of Amalfi, lemons, blues, Tuscan villa, they call it. Look at this lazy Susan, imagine that in summer, outdoor dining, even the cooler bag. Then this is the new bloom or natural bloom, loads of new spring bits in as well. So I'm back home from a successful trip at B&M. I'm just gonna throw my hair up in a clip. We're gonna head out. It's like hit and miss, sunny one minute, raining the next. So I'm gonna put my hair up out of the way because we're gonna go on a quick, well I say a quick walk, we're actually gonna go on a bit of a lengthier walk today. Take the dog out, take Barney out. We're gonna do, if you're local to the area there's like a national trust called quarry bank which is basically in the village of style and we like to park up in style and do there's like an airport loop where you can like walk around and um, see the airplanes it's about an hour and a half to two hours so pretty lengthy walk lots of steps so if you're wanting to do it just bear that in mind um so yeah we're gonna go out for a walk so i'll show you the bits that i did get from b and a little sneak peek, I've just brought them upstairs. Oh, that's a little sneak peek. I've got three bags of stuff to share with you. Um, so yeah, let's head on a walk and then we'll get back and uh, crack on with the, with the haul. cooking on already and we are making we're making what are we making bacon sandwiches oh, where are these bread rolls from brewery market brewery market at one for mine <laughs> one's enough for me and then we've got this bacon would we even cook bacon outside the air fryer anymore this is from we got it the other week from this smokehouse the cheshire smokehouse and um have we had this one already? First time trying it. Trying what? Bacon. Oh. I thought you meant pigeon. Oh, look at pigeon. I need to go fill it up. It's massive, that pigeon. <laughs> it's eating all our bird food. That's why. I might have <gasps> Don't say have that. Hey, little Barney. Did you enjoy our morning walk this morning? But anyway, we are back. Having bacon sandwiches, which I'm very, I've built up an appetite for, that's for sure. Oh, it smells so good. Really smoky. Really smoky. Um, bit of TV. What are we having for dinner today? We've got HelloFresh actually, haven't we? Steak. Steak from HelloFresh. I'm not sure. What else have you brought over here? This is Daddy's top. 
for that. That's a weird. <laughs> this is Daddy's top. Vinegary, which is called this absolute acid sour. Uh, a little garnish. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you see that, you see how moist it looks. Yeah. Uh, that's incredible, right? That's what fish. Should, that's what food should be. When it comes to anything like that, mm -hmm. you just push it away from the bone. And see what you said. You said that. Is that what I'm getting? <laughs> I was planning on bringing my coffee up here with you to sit and enjoy it together as we unbox these B and M bits. However, I finished it already. <laughs> so I thought, do I make a second? No. Oh my gosh! I'm just looking up at the tree we've got two huge nests let me zoom in and show you these trees in our garden are absolutely huge but can you see that massive nest i don't even know how well it's oh, wow look i think i want to say it's magpies in there it's the sort of thing that i'm like hoping it's magpies because i saw magpies in there <laughs> Although having said that, I did see them with the twigs in the mouth. So that's why I'm, I'm telling myself it is a magpie's nest in there. But anyway, let me share with you the bits I got. Okay, so first and foremost, I got this lampshade. I'm thinking about switching our bedroom up a little bit. I'm not sure on the order of these vlogs, but I'm pretty sure I won't have shown you yet. But I'm thinking about switching up our bedroom a little bit. Lower you down a bit. There we go. Um, so yeah, switching up our bedroom a bit with the decor and I thought this would be a really nice lampshade to pop in there So it's only ten pounds and it's called two-tier linen shade I've taken the full thing off now so you can see I just wanted to show you the texture a bit closer up It's a really nice rough textured linen like with darker threads running through it So I think that will reflect the light beautifully in the bedroom and i feel like it's giving a similar kind of style to like white company neptune but anyway yeah i thought 10 pounds for that was a steal speaking of white company i also found this is a bit of a white company dupe and it's this photo frame it's called the roma classic frame it was only three pounds and can you see it's got the quite wide mount and border around it and it's just a simple chrome uh sort of frame so yeah obviously very similar to the white company ones that they do fraction of the price at just three pounds so i was more than happy to pay that for that and i know we have a lot of brass within our house but i definitely do have rooms that have more chrome in them or mixed metals like i think there's no issue like our downstairs loo is a complete mix of chrome with the toilet and the sink and then we've got the antique brass touches in there as well with the lights and the like toilet roll holder so yeah i think it works really nice i picked up some more of these organization labels they're only two pounds and i love using these within our pantry i picked up some more for our pantry of the acacia wood lidded jars i just think these are such a steal at the price that they are so this one will be good for pasta grains anything really and this one was five pounds this one does have like a couple of little almost brass looking nails at the top and then i did also get another one of these i feel like the this sort of size is the most ideal within the pantry i also picked up some of these meal prep bowls at three pound fifty we like to use these for um predominantly for liquids like if we have excess soup left over or uh stock from cooking we tend to use those i don't know why but they're a good size that's probably why and then also I picked up some, well, I stocked up on some Zaflora. I thought I would go for this one because of the scent raspberry and juniper berries, good for this time of the year. Sweet and fruity blend of red berries and rhubarb combined with notes of hibiscus flower and creamy vanilla. But they've also got a new scent. So I picked this one up as well. Tulip and peach blossom, perfect for spring. It's a blend of juicy peach set on a floral heart of tulip, jasmine on warming amber base. I don't know if this is going to be my favourite. I already know it won't, but... Oh, it's actually a lot fruitier than I thought it was going to be. Because I don't like florals too much. But that is definitely, I guess, the peach. More fruity. Oh, it's gone straight through the other side. 
This is good timing because our birds have just finished their bird feed on our little bird feeder in the garden. So I'll pop this in suet pellets. These are the ones that they seem to enjoy the most. This one's got wheel, wheel worm, meal worms in as well. So yeah, I just stocked up. These are on sale in B&M at the moment. I think they're about two pounds for that. And then I saw this, they've got some beautiful, I think it's called Tuscan Living or something Tuscan. Um, like outdoor garden sets for dining with beautiful like lemon designs on rich like blues and yellows and definitely giving Italian summer vibes if that's your thing and you think you would like that I would say go check it out they've still got the kind of black and dark green um, outdoor entertainment living as well I would have bought some bits but I just thought I don't know if we're going to be ready hopefully fingers crossed we will be but who knows by then I might, might want a different or I might just want something a bit more neutral to have as our like outside crockery and stuff but yeah the plans with the garden is to very much try and get it ready for using as a garden within the next couple of months well in time for summer so I was gonna say spring we're in spring in time for summer but whether or not we'll have the outdoor kitchen ready yet I'm not sure it might just be a case of we use the barbecue we just have some like outdoor furniture out there for a bit before we actually build a, a proper outdoor kitchen set up so we'll see how we go with that but yeah either way this for outdoor living is perfect because it's a citronella candle eight pounds but i like the look of it again the wooden aesthetics yeah i think i think that probably was the main thing putting me off the b&m set was because it was quite bright and in your face but it was really pretty from the beauty section i've got one of these before actually and they're just a bit of a nicer mouthwash than your box standard listerine it's from the brand waken it's got fluoride in it as well, which is important for mouthwash because I know the dentist told me about um, keeping fluoride on your teeth. You don't want to just rinse your mouth after you've brushed them. So I tend to use this more as like throughout the day if I feel like I want to mouth refresh or before I put my Invisalign back in. This is blended with natural lemon and mint, this one. They've got different flavors. I picked up some of these coffee syrups. They've got these miniature versions, which I thought was perfect because the big like Monin ones, I never get through them all. Then these are perfect for the kind of ones that only I will have, i.e. spice pumpkin, gingerbread. And I know it's not on season, but even throwing this in with an iced latte would be really nice. I've never tried these before and someone tell me if there's a difference between Feminax and Ibuprofen. It says Ibuprofen Lysine, because if it's just ibuprofen, I won't buy this again because this was like two pounds something. Whereas ibuprofen you can get for sort of 50p. Anyway, I also got Barney a little cheese chew. He likes these, good for his dental uh, hygiene. Speaking dog. I also got the Vermouche pet hair dissolver for our washing machine. I actually picked up two of these. Picked up some more of these, good for on the go. Two pounds, just these little hot drink cups. Don't use them that often, but when I do, it's just nice to have the option. And then I thought these were lovely for, again, for summer outdoor living, indoor as well. Don't just have to use this straw outside, but just fun, you know? So we've got the clear ones which I do already have some clear straws, but then we've also got like, I like the lemon colored one. The twisty ones are just a throwback to my childhood. I quite like the greens as well. Um, but yeah, so these ones are three pound and three pound 50. Also picked up, I don't tend to use these as a bathroom tray, but more so as a uh, botanical plate for botanical candle plate. I also picked up these little glasses at three pounds each how perfect are these for a little ice cream sundae these would be good for like little um berries and cream and meringue kind of like little eaten mess dessert as well i did pick up a seasonal mug couldn't resist this one there's lots of bright garish patterns and colors for spring mugs but when i saw this one it's just a cute little simple glass mug from their new Natural Bloom uh, range of kitchenware and all sorts that they do in this range. Three pounds and it's just got cute little daisies on. Very simple and yeah, so thought I would pick that one up to add to my ever-growing mug collection. As always, oh, last bag and it's a heavy one. Oh, I've got one of the Zafloras. Oh, nearly hit myself in the face with it. <laughs> in the new scent, the Tulip and Peach Blossom. So we'll use that one next on all the work surfaces. And then I also got these for Barney. They looked fun. Did I see these on Dragon Stan or am I making that up? I might be making that up. 
I'm not sure, but they're called Mickey Bix and they're from the brand Park Life, but they are 100% natural, grain free. You've got peanut butter and gravy flavored little biscuits. These sort of biscuits are perfect to pop in his jar that we have, like a treat jar in the kitchen. A new Samaritz tan. These ones are the extra large in dark. And then I picked up for upstairs a new 1001 carpet fresh. This one is a lovely scent for upstairs. It's in the feel calm scent, which has lavender and bergamot. So you literally just spritz it on after you've hoovered coffee. So I got this decaf one, some drain on blocker. I don't even know if there's a difference between pet wipes and normal wipes. I always tend to get the pet wipes just so that I know that they're safe for him. Um, but they are five pounds so i feel like that's quite a lot i also got these little pots that i saw They've, they're getting more and more of the kind of barbecue kitchen bits one pound fifty a six pack of small dip bowls say if we were hosting in summer and we have people over just to have a few dips dotted around and last but not least i picked up a couple of bags of these just because i thought they sounded lovely and these can go in our little kind of easter bowl i know like easter super early this year but i love easter chocolate so i'm going to carry on having easter chocolate throughout the whole of spring okay because it's my favorite and these ferrero rocher crispy eggs just sounded lovely we've got a um hazelnut that one and cocoa i can hear tom's on the phone downstairs but i might just head down have a bit of a sort through and tidy up through some stuff um bit of a whiz around just to spruce up the spruce up the place and i'm not really sure what else we're meant to be doing today it's chilled weekend's my favorite especially after that walk because that walk itself was 10,000 steps fully ready for a chill we do have to tomorrow at some point i mean we could do a bit today i'll take these down once i go as well could do a bit today but like i said we've got our step count in for the day today so i think tomorrow will be the plan to uh, start going through our garden and start clearing it out, ready for the builders to come. Well, they're already, they've started coming already, uh, but to drop off some bits. But they're properly starting day after tomorrow, which will be fun. Should we go feed the birds? Feed the birds. over here to share some deliveries but he can't stay in his bed not when there's a delivery box here that could be for him anyway i've just had a couple of parcels delivered so has mummy been biting oh yeah i've got some stock ups of some skincare and actually something new so you guys know how much i talk about my elemis stuff that i enjoy stocked up on another one of their pro collagen marine creams ultra rich so i use this one more as a night cream i use the spf one during the day if i'm going to but i didn't need a day moisturizer so i just picked up that one and then i also have this to try for the first time so i love their cleansing balm the pro collagen cleansing balm and i've tried like the yellow one is probably my favorite i also currently i have the fig one which smells so lovely but this it's a scent that i've never even knew existed it's in 
water mint. Oh, it's quite, it's quite liquidy. I feel like it's kind of melted a little bit already. And maybe the heat of delivering it. It's not that strong actually. Anyway, what's in this second box? Oh, then I've also got this, which I wanted to find. I was hoping to find one in like Home Sense or something but a new tablecloth, a linen one, which I wanted to get my hands on in this kind of green olive color. So I have like a true natural linen one from H&M Home, which I love, but I always feel like it's just worth having a spare. And I thought green in our kitchen, especially with us having like the green island, I thought would look lovely in spring. Then whilst I was browsing on Amazon, they always get me with the recommendations of the coffee table books. Hold on, I'm gonna have to shut that blind, aren't I? There's a huge cloud coming though. So I feel like it's gonna go. But anyway, I um, yeah, love looking at their coffee table books and there was a couple of new ones that I'd spotted which I don't already have. So I thought I would pick up this. First one is called Carl, hold on, let me open it. Ah. I think I added two to my basket by accident. It's the same book. <laughs> well, I can always return one. Or sometimes I keep two of the same book anyway and just put them in different places. But it's called Carl Lagerfeld. And it's basically a line of beauty, it's called. And it's this gorgeous book around the works of Carl Lagerfeld. It actually looks like his illustrations, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. We'll have a little flick through that anyway and enjoy that. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Oh yeah, there it says on the bottom, look, can you see? It says in like silver foil, it says a line of beauty. I'll leave it linked below along with the other bits as well. You wanted to go back in the other room? I've locked you in here, you won't settle now. It was all tucked up in your bed, weren't you? All cosy and then as soon as I get a parcel to open, you straight over to me. Kisses. Thank you. I don't know why I asked for it. Oh, because I just love you. So I'm just coming in to close off for today's video here and I also just spotted this white fox box, white fox box, white fox box here on the floor that I just wanted to remind you guys that if you want to take advantage of that discount code that I have with them and also I wanted to thank them for working with me on today's video. Again, if you wanted to check anything out that I tried on at the start of this video, I will leave all the links in the description box below. I'll do some more try on clips over on Instagram as well and TikTok. So be sure to follow me over there if you haven't already. It would mean the world. And if you want that bonus content for free, then that is where you can find me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.